It's mailbag time here on NFL Daily. Before we get into some of these awesome questions from our live audience, I want you to go ahead and go to magicspoon.com slash chat where you guys can save $5 off on healthy cereal. Cereal that's actually too good to be true. Or wait, it is true. Magicspoon.com slash chat. Go ahead. It's down there in the comments. Mariners fan, you should change your name to Mets fan. Seahawks sign Steven Nelson. I'll tell you what. I know a lot of people out there really are big fans of Nelson, and would he be an upgrade on that Seattle secondary? Yes, he, he absolutely would. Only 28 years old, coming off one of his better years, nine pass breakups, two INTs, 48 tackles. However, Nelson was also, I think, a product of what the Steelers' defense was. So if, if Seattle needs to go out and add a corner, he's definitely going to be cheaper than Richard Sherman. At least I think he should be. But Brian Poole is also another solid name out there, but he's more of a slot corner. But Steven Nelson could ha definitely help the Seahawks. Let's go to Mark Anthony McNulty. Will the Seahawks make an effort to sign any more top free agents such as KJ Wright, Richard Sherman, David Castro, etc.? Well, David Castro, I'm pretty sure is going to end up retiring. I mean, that guy, he's just not 100% healthy. If you were to ask me which free agent do I think is more likely to sign with Seattle between KJ Wright and Richard Sherman, I might actually go out there and say Richard Sherman. All right, Christian Navarro, what up, man? Will Pete Carroll ever get rid of Russell Wilson as his best quarterback? Will he ever get rid of Wilson as his best quarterback? I don't know if Pete Carroll will ever have a better quarterback than Russell Wilson, but I also can't 100% guarantee you that Wilson is going to retire as a Seahawk. Like, I know that he said that he never demanded a trade. I'm just going to say it. it's bullshit. Like, you don't have, like, people from your camp link or leaking all the things that they did if you were 100% happy. So he'll play on the Seahawks this year, but next offseason is going to be one hell of an offseason. It's from Doom. I'm going to be doomed if I run out of Magic Spoon because then I got to go, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Hypothetical trade. Lockett for Howard, good or bad. So Tyler Lockett for Xavier Howard straight up. I'll tell you what, it's pretty interesting. The issue is I don't really see why Miami would go ahead and do it because they already have a lot of really talented receivers. So I'm actually going to say Miami says no. Coming in here from Jason Joyner, can the Seahawks make the Super Bowl this year? Of course they can. One of the biggest tricks is going to be getting through that NFC West because the Rams are a legit team, Cardinals are a legit team, 49ers are a legit team. So, like, they're going to beat up each other. That's six very tough games to see how good the Seahawks are going to be. If they want to take that next step, though, they need to be better in the secondary. I'm not worried about their offense. I'm not worried about their running game. I'm not even worried about their offensive line because you have Russell Wilson. That defense, though, it needs to be better, and it was their big Achilles heel last season. We got Jim McCormick. Should Seattle give Dwayne Brown a contract extension? He's pretty old. He's definitely old. Uh, I believe he's like 35.8 years. I know that we have a graphic around it, so that's why it came off the top of my head. But he's still one of the best offensive tackles in the league. And if you are going to give him an extension, I mean, he's still going to make halfway decent money this year. But if I'm Brown and I'm his agent, I'm looking at the deal that Trent Williams just made, right? Like six years, basically getting like, uh, what was it? 20 million, like 18 million dollars a year, and he is getting paid a hefty amount of money. So if I'm Brown, I'm like, why the hell can't I get 18 to 19 million dollars a year? He's had some injury issues in the past, but like Brown is a solid dude for Russell. But if you are also trying to keep Russ happy, maybe you do need to go ahead and give him an extension. All right, we got Jason underscore Joiner. Who going to have more receiving yards and touchdowns, DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett? If you would have asked me this question last year, I would have said Tyler Lockett. But DK Metcalf has now surpassed Lockett as the number one receiver on that team. Last season, Metcalf had 129 targets, 1,300 yards, and I believe 10 touchdowns. He is the number one receiver on that team. So I'm going to say more yards and also more touchdowns for DK. That's also not disrespecting Lockett. That's one of the best, if not the best, wide receiver duo in the entire league. Today's mailbag is made possible by the best tasting healthy cereal out there. That's Magic Spoon. Get five bucks off your first order at magicspoon.com slash chat. Tons of flavors for you guys, and they are all high in protein, which, you know, helps you get bigger and help and the, the four low carbs, by the way. That, that's it, just four net grams there. Helps to work on the dad bod I've cultivated, which I'm not proud of as I jiggle my stomach like Santa Claus. It's also, though, sweet and delicious. It tastes like the cereal that we grew up with, but it's actually good for you. Get $5 off your first order by grabbing a box or four of them over at magicspoon.com slash chat. I will have a clickable link in the comments section 
and in the description for you guys so that all you have to do is click it and get your first order today. Magicspoon.com slash chat. All right, from Trenton, what do you think an Xavier Howard or Stephon Gilmore trade would look like for the Seahawks? Well, I think at minimum, you'd probably try to send a cornerback back. Now, I, I don't know which corner that would end up being, but I do think that they would try to send a cornerback back in a trade. Draft pick-wise, look, there's no first. So it's probably a second, at least for Howard, and something else. I think Gilmore's value is pretty similar to Julio Jones. I would say that Howard's value is a little bit higher than that. So second plus is probably what Seattle would have to give up if they were going to find a way to, to go get one of those top-tier corners. From Bunny Gamer, if you were in the Seahawks' shoes and you had to extend one person or one person's contract, who would it be, Jamal Adams or Quandre Diggs? I love both of them. Don't get me wrong on that, that front. But I think that the correct answer here is Jamal Adams. You gave up so much to get him. He's an awesome football player. He's not a true safety. Whatever. Who cares? Even though I love Quandre Diggs, I'd rather have it, have it be Jamal Adams. From Killer T254, do you think the Seahawks should go after someone? And if so, who should they go get? I, I would argue that maybe defensive tackle, if you don't trust Rasheem Green and or LJ Collier to emerge as a key part of, of your interior defensive line rotation, probably someone that they should explore. But in terms of trade market, you can look around a little bit. I don't know how likely it ends up being that they're able to find a significant player to really say things. Like adding a big-time corner, Stephon Gilmore, Xavier Howard, it's fun. It'd be very expensive, though. From C. Garcia, 55. Do the Seahawks have enough cap space to trade for Xavier Howard, or do they have to restructure Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner's contract? So they would have to restructure some deals. They, they, they would have to go do that. But I, I think that restructuring Wagner and, Bob, er, and, er, and Wilson is worth it. That's not a bad thing if you're Seattle. It locks those guys into your organization long term. That's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. So, yes, they have to, re they have to restructure contracts, but not a bad thing in the end. From Sucka 5 k will the Seahawks bring back Richard Sherman? We always seem to end up with a Richard Sherman question some way or the other. Um, I'm going to lean towards no. I think in the long run, Seattle does not re-sign Sherman. Now, he will retire, I believe, as a Seattle Seahawk player. But I think the more likely outcome here is that Seattle does not end up going after Sherman. And they pick somebody else altogether in the free agent market or trade for a veteran because I think they are going to wait. And by then, Sherman will have found a destination if they sign anybody, of course. Now, I think a popular answer here is going to end up being Richard Sherman. But who is the best unsigned NFL free agent. Who is it? Get your votes in for me right now in the comment section. What free agent do you believe is the best one that is still available on the open market? Get your votes in for the comment section right now. From King J, what city gets an NFL team next? Um, London? They're kind of like a hybrid team. It, it, it's very complicated from a travel perspective. But London always makes sense. San Antonio is constantly mentioned, but they've already got two Texas teams. That's a bit of a stretch to me. So I'll go London, but I don't think it's imminent by any stretch of the imagination. If Aaron Rodgers is traded, if Deshaun Watson's traded, if any of that happens, we're going to keep you updated here. Help Chat Sports gets to 250,000 subscribers. We are the number one rated channel on YouTube for interaction and for sports content. I'd like to keep it that way. So if you could, subscribe. If you are already one of our loyal watchers like Mariners fan, Big Chungus, Mark Mulo Jr. Estrada, if you could please take the link, youtube.com slash TV and send it to some friends, man, we'd really appreciate it.